طيب من مظاهر خصوصيات الله لنبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أن قال نبينا إن الله جعل لي من أمتي سبعين ألفا يدخلون الجنة من غير سؤال ومن غير حساب And from the favors that Allah gave upon the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is that he said uh, 70,000 people of your nation will enter paradise without reckoning. But this is a small number, only 70,000. And so therefore the Prophet Muhammad said with every thousand people there will be another seventy thousand. And this is also a small number compared to the many people, many Muslims who lived in past generations. Uh, and they were pious Muslims. And they were practicing the religion properly. Both outwardly and inwardly. Our practicing of the religion may not be of the same degree as those before us. In their loving uh, 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 the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and spreading good amongst people and also fulfilling the rights of those that were close to them and those that were uh, far. لذلك السابقون قد يأخذون علينا تلك المقاعد سبعون ألف ومع كل ألف من السبعين ألف سبعين ألف. So therefore the previous people may in fact take all those seventy thousand seats in paradise without reckoning. والخير موجود في هذه الأمة في كل البلاد. And piety and goodness will remain in this community uh, in all lands. مثلاً بلدنا هذه حضرموت. For example, the land which we come from of Hadramaut, 80 years ago, in its capital cities, or its main cities such as Sayyun and Tarim, he says all the citizens of these towns or these cities, uh, they did not have any type of conflict amongst them. They were all friends. And so they appointed a judge in that town. <laughs> so this judge or magistrate was appointed for 20 years in that city and he was waiting all that time for two people to come and bring a case to him. So the magistrate went to the ruler and he said to him, you've put me in a city where there's absolutely no problems. No one's coming to me with any cases to solve. And the first row in the Grand Mosque in that city of Tarim would be one which would be reserved for those people, those scholars who had arrived to the degree and status of uh, giving religious opinion. There was one point in time in which each citizen of that city was a memorizer of the entire Quran. So this, he says, is what was apparent to us in the city that we used to live in. As for other cities and other places and lands, then this would also be, there would have been also many situations like this. And now these people who have then gone to the mercy of God, they are in this bliss and reward. So therefore, those people who uh, preceded us in this world, they may take up all those 70,000 seats. Uh, however, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went on to say in the hadith, uh, as reported by Imam Muslim, with a sound chain of narration. And this is the part where we hope that we will be amongst such people. Uh, 
And then uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, also those that will enter paradise without any reckoning, there will be three lots from the lots of my God. And the meaning here of three lots, meaning three portions. And this here was a means by uh, it means to illustrate the great number of people that would enter Jannah or Paradise without reckoning. When we read this hadith, we hope through our hearts that we will be people who will be amongst those one of those three lots.